Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week we're gonna finish up this model and 3D scan it. Let's get to it. You may be wondering, what good is it to have a clay model? Well, we're gonna also scan it. This is the new Miraco 3D scanner from RevoPoint. One of the things I'm really interested with this is it's an all-in-one, meaning you don't have to have a computer or a phone to make this work. So lots of 3D scanners require a very high power computer. So they've managed to somehow get that all into this unit. So they've got lots of the tracking dots, the markers. This one even has the turntable, which I'm very excited to use. It has all these adapters to cover whatever country you're in. Comes with a tripod. Looks like even a test piece here. This looks like these ones are actually calibration boards. Very nice. All right, we'll see if we can figure out how this works. All right, so as I understand, um, you can do continuous or single shot. So you can kind of do a shot, move, do a shot. Um, you can switch from near and far. So previously they had two different versions of the Revo Point where you could either do small objects or large objects. This one will do both. So this one's really nice. It's got a feature to hide the surface. So like if you're scanning on a table or something, you can hide that. And again, you can see on the front here, it's got uh, lots of different cameras. Um, I believe one is the RGB camera and then I think these ones are like for far objects and these ones are for the closer up objects. It also has, I call it selfie mode. So you can flip this up and then you can like scan yourself and you can look at things while you do it. So this looks really cool. I'm excited to give it a try. For this one, we're gonna use the uh, turntable here. Oh, that's fast. All right, I just uh, finished my first scan, use the turntable, and here's the model, and you can kind of roll it around, zoom out or in. So I did a screen recording too, so hopefully uh, I can show you that as well. Here we are recording again. See how it's picking up the points. This is basically the same software that's on the computer. Um, this has got the raw data, so you can toggle back and forth between the various scans. So there's that one, and again, you can kind of zoom in, zoom out, rotate. So again, you can do all the same things, fusion, mesh, texture. Um, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna export these um, through the cable to my computer. Just a little bit bigger monitor to see what's going on. All right, here we are doing the file transfer. Go ahead and copy that one. We'll open things with the Revo Point program. All right, so there's first scan. Next scan. Those look really good. Um, we can delete that one. So I'll probably try and clean some of these up and then um, stitch them all together, create one file that we can work with. The new Revo Point Miraco, um, it's really intuitive, uh, easy setup, really good results. You get near and far. I think it's great. This is a new offering and they're trying a Kickstarter. If you're interested in something like this, go check out the link in the description below.
All right, I think I'm done with the uh, second version. I did scan the baseline, so if we like that one better, we can do that one. This is kind of, I'll call it a little more aggressive looking. I was kind of feeling like the first one was just missing a few kind of key lines and things. So we kind of added on the back here, it used to be kind of squared off. And I kind of just thought that that line didn't really work. So I've kind of uh, carried that one down to here. Um, this one will actually be an air duct. So air can come out of the wheel well there. Um, I did try and flatten this wing a little bit um, and kind of contour it a little bit more. The front, I've tried to just add just the faintest little line. I think you can see it a lot better because the original hood is under there, but really um, it sh it's kind of just the faintest line, not really a huge ridge. I've added kind of some of those features there as well. The thought is I can have um, air kind of come under there and up through there. Um, and then I can capture air either to go through the wheel well or through radiators or things like that. So I'll scan this one. We'll capture all these electronically and go from there. There we go, we got the new custom wheels put on. What do you think? I'll try and create some mirrored images so you can kind of see the whole thing. Next thing to do is to get this into CAD. If you are a person that is good in CAD, that can create a model from a point cloud or mesh, let's get in touch. That'll help things go a little bit faster. Otherwise, I'll probably spend the next week trying to do it myself. I do not have any money as I am unemployed, but uh, I can uh, offer you fame, not fortune. If you're willing to help, I can leave your name in the video. Lots of people can look you up, see what you do. Maybe it starts a business for you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we've been doing some of this as we are waiting for some battery box components. Um, we need that in order to kind of start installing things. So thanks for following along. See you next time. This is what I have to deal with when I'm trying to shoot.